So I just wanted to uh, show you that you can duplicate the buff from the jellyfish shield and then show you why you should be introducing this little glitch into your buff stack with, like, with a few example numbers. Um, so just to show the initial admittedly unimpressive increase in AR, but you know just so you can see that it works, you can see the shield has an attack rating of 440 here. Uh, if you do Contagious Fury once, that goes up to a 528. And then you can switch the hand it in, it's in and do it again. So this takes you up to 634 from that initial 440. So you can see it works. Uh, this by itself is unimpressive, I guess, but when you start working it into your normal routine, like it won't override any of your others because it's unique, it's a unique skill and then you'll start to see the benefits of it. So let's try it with Godskin Peeler. That's got a starting AR of 660 here. Uh, obviously we'll be using Sapuku, so I'll throw on the White Mask and Lord of Blood Talisman to start seeing bigger numbers too. Um, so yeah, just with those in Contagious Fury, we are, uh, we've already doubled that initial AR as you can see there with it saying uh, just over 1300 in the top right. Um, using Rallying Standard and Blood Boil and Sapuku without the Jellyfish will get you about 1400. So. But, you know, like, as I said earlier, you can use the Jellyfish Shield um, on top of that, given it's a unique skill, and take advantage of the fact that you can do it twice. So, uh, let's see them all together. Um, see the difference between that initial starting AR of uh, 660. And as you can see here, that's landed you more than three times that starting number. So yeah, from 660 you've more than tripled it. So it's, it's well worth doing. Right, cheers for watching. If you've uh, found this helpful, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Uh, you know, give us a comment, whatever. Let us, uh, let us know how you've got on. Cheers.